And I was like, I told you I wasn't see bubbles. She's like, and I told you I don't hear my house. All this, all this drama and for what? It looked like I whooped that ass without having to really touch her. It's gonna be one motion now story time. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's notification shout out goes to Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your kind words, your love and support. The get on with y'all, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you guys to everyone who just just under just understands me and helps me and honestly helps me realize a lot of things that I feel like even now my eyes sometimes I don't know if it's because I don't want to realize it I don't know what it is but you guys seriously helped me a lot the previous story time on the 90 series it really triggered a lot and I had nightmares and it literally, I feel like it opens up a box and so many emotions come out and so many things and you start to think like this wasn't okay, that wasn't okay. Things just start to come up. Um, talking to like my, my mom and talking to my siblings and talking to my husband and talking to you guys and I just start opening up more boxes and it's just really just like trips me out and it lets me connect a lot of dots and what happened was not okay and i am so sorry that so many you so many of you can relate to what i went through and i didn't see it at the time of it being grooming and holy shit, it really just it just opened a lot of emotions a lot a lot of emotions and it just it trips me out. Anyways, after I did that story time, I did receive a message and we will go more into that in a later time because I am not going to stop the nanny series, especially for sorry. At this point, I feel like there can be no sorry that fixes anything that I'm going to share more and more of, you know? But anyways, we're gonna continue with the nanny series and I did receive some goodies. I want to show them with you guys. So I received this package. I opened it a little bit and then once I start, I was like, ah, I stopped. This is from Shiloh. Thank you so much. You freaking spoil me so much. I literally screamed and my husband was like, finish opening it. Like this is how far I got like this. And then he was like, finish opening it. I was like, no, I gotta wait. I gotta wait, I gotta wait. So <laughs> I'm gonna open it. It says Bath Harry and it says Charm Drop Harry Potter. And look, it's a bath bomb and it has Harry Potter. Y'all, I'm so excited. I am so freaking excited. And the bath bomb. <gasps> Is there a charm in the bath bomb? What? Oh, that smells so good. So this is the Harry Potter, it's a charm. Oh, I'm so excited. These are the charms of the Harry Potter. Like, I'm gonna have my Tweety Bird one and I'm gonna have my Harry Potter one. Mm, I'm so freaking excited. Four pack of the Harry Potter. This is for the houses. And then I got, this is the four pack of the houses to the Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. I said the names, I guess when I was picking up the charms from the last story time, I was picking them, I was probably saying them really fast because I know who who is, okay? I was like, ah. but a family member were like, Jay, you said the wrong name. I probably did, I probably did, I probably did. I'm not gonna lie, but let me have it, y'all, let me have it. It's a pack of, if all, if there's a big, there's a big pack of like Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. So I'm gonna clip it on this, clip it on that, clip it on this, clip it on that. Thank you so much, Shiloh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That makes me so freaking happy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is so freaking exciting. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have one on each of my purses. I'm excited. Thank you. I truly, truly appreciate it very, very much. I'm gonna stomp on my brothers. They always be touching my hair parts up. I'm like, stop. That is mine. Next package, it doesn't say who it's from, but let me tell you, okay? The reason why I, I'm like telling you guys this, okay, so it says from Katie Brady at Target, right? So I go and the post office is like, oh, I don't see your name on it because it says delivered to Katie Brady at Target, P.O. Box 393. My name, the package is folded, my name is folded, and I couldn't, I, we couldn't see my name on the other side. And he's like, are you sure this is your package? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it's a box number 393. He's like, okay, well, if it's not, then you have to bring it back. And I'm like, Okay, come home and my husband's like, look, your name's right here. And I was like, oh my God, I don't. And so then my husband, he orders things from Target and it says from Katie Brady. And I was like, 
they know the house that that our address and my husband was like i i, I don't know i guess that's just a general email that target uses okay i felt so stupid y'all i was like wait 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 i was like really dumbfounded i was like wait 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 but anyways i'm gonna open this package i'm so excited i'm so excited you didn't leave a note or anything so i don't know who it's from but look 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 I am so freak blessed, spoiled. I posted this a while ago and a lot of you guys were like, oh my God, where is that from? And we seen it at a place in the mall. And I was like, it's really, really cute. I was talking to a few of you, so I don't know who sent it. I just wanna say, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wish I knew who sent it. This is so sweet. It just really like gets me my feels to be like thought of. It's just so crazy. Like it really gets me like in like little like screams. I know for, for other people it might be like, oh it's just a, it's just a purse they're like oh it's just a charmer oh it's, it's so much more than that like it's, it's your the thought your guys's comments your guys's emails your guys's love like it's so intense and it seriously means the world to me how much you guys love me and i love you guys so freaking much so much and i am so blessed and i will forever be grateful not because of the gifts or anything because just being loved and thought of, seriously, it hits on a whole different level. And when I share so much, at times I go back to that place of just like feeling alone, even though I'm not alone. And it just like, it just, it just feels like hugs. So thank you, thank you so much. The purse is freaking beautiful. <laughs> Please let me know who sent it. Please, please leave a comment. Please, please, please. It has some charms right here. And then I'm going to add this one right here too. <laughs> so thank you for the bottom of my heart. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And it's going to go up there. And I am going to use I'm going to do a little photo shoot. Like, mm. uh, hey. Turn up. Ooh. Uh, hey. Turn up. <laughs> Okay, sit back, relax, let me know what you guys are doing, if you guys are eating, if you guys are cleaning, if you guys are working, if you guys are traveling. I would love to know down below. And if you want to be part of the notification squad, what to do is just like the video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And your comment can possibly be the next notification. Shout out! Boom. Chicka beep, keep, 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 bing. Bing, chicka, bing, chicka, bing, 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 bing. I love you guys. So, deep breaths, close your eyes, and let me pick. Just let me pick all bad vibes, cheese miss, gossip, jealousy. And as I'm picking, take those deep breaths. Picking a little bit more today. and breathe and let me give you some of mine let it just wash over you okay let's get started i love you guys and let's begin i do want to do 
Pennywise. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys want me to do and bam bam nailed by Lily said Pennywise scream a doll. So we are going to do Pennywise. Don't have like the whole costume. We're just doing the face. I'm excited because I'm like, oh my God, I get to see Mrs. Bubbles and it kind of sucked because the circumstances, but I really just wanted to see her in a way it felt like motherly li motherly vibes. Like I wanted to have good energy around me and I just really wanted to in a way forget like why we're, why we're meeting. Like I really wanted just to be like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Not because like I was hiding something, but because I, I just didn't want us just to talk about that. I just wanted to have such a good time with her and not have to talk about the the drama, even though I know we had to. Get outside and I meet in like the little area that she had told me and I'm just waiting for her. I'm waiting for her and part of me is like thinking she's not going to show up. I swear, like I was always feeling like whatever could go wrong will go wrong. And so I was just like, getting bubble guts. I still get like that to this day. I always feel like, uh, like I always have to think the bad so that I'm not like surprised. So I text Bubbles just to get confirmation. Like, hey, like you're coming, right? Because I feel like she was taking a minute, but it probably was my anxiety more than anything. She says, yeah, if you want, just to walk to like the closest gas station there. And I'm like, okay. Again, my nerves were just like everywhere because I felt like I had did something even though I didn't do anything wrong. It was just the mentality that I had from always just feeling like, oh, it's your fault. Even though he's a grown ass man, little Lex was like, what did you do to get him thinking like this to spread cheese miss if it was him, you know? So I'm just like, uh bubble guts bubble guts bubble guts i don't know what to think and my phone it's still like not working the best like it's still on stupid so i'm like nervous like what if it dies and by the time i get there and then she forgets me and all kinds of stuff like i am just going through all these emotions and if your child has anxiety please be patient because it is so crippling and exhausting for us. And then on top of that, having to worry about pissing off a family member or them being like, oh my God, and getting so annoyed. Like, just be compassionate and understanding because it is already so like, oh, as is. And then on top of that, fearing to piss off your parent is like another thing. So it was a constant like battle in my mind and a constant battle of like other people's feelings too even now i catch myself like getting upset of like who i'm going to upset with my anxiety but the thing is like i just don't go around or i'm just like eh, eh. like let me just have it like let me just have it like even if they think that like they're them being like oh my god it's gonna be fine and being annoyed and rushing me is going to help it's not it's not i feel like being loving and caring goes a long way a lot more than being extremely dismissive. Finally, which feels like eternity, I see Bubbles and I run to her vehicle. Like I'm like so happy to see her and I'm running like really fast where I'm like, ah! like I'm just so excited because I'm like, oh my God, I get to see her. I am ecstatic. She gets out of the car and it's just like literally like a Kodak moment. We run and she just hugs me and she starts crying and I'm like, and then I start crying because I'm just like, oh, okay, like we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. So we're both crying, she's hugging me. She is just squeezing me and she kind of just pulls me like this just to like really look at me. And it feels like she in a way is like examining my body and just like pulls me like this and just like looking at me all over, just touching my head. I don't know, she thought like they were gonna beat me or something before like they let me out. Like I don't know what her, what her thinking process was, but she was like literally like looking at everything. Like I could feel her hands touching my skin my goosebumps just like everything just like examining me even my back i could feel like she was just like touching my back to see if i had like welts or anything like she was really like feeling me and checking me but at the same time like comforting me and like just squeezing me kissing my cheeks and stuff and just like hugging me really really tight and it kind of went on for a very long time where we we're just like that and then she just goes like this 
He goes, Cause get in the car, get in the car. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm just like excited. I'm like, okay, yes, yes, yes. So we get in the car. I'm already going like a mile a minute in my head. Like, okay, she's gonna start asking me questions. I need to like, you know, show my case. Like, no, I did not do anything. And that's not how it went. Got in the car, just turned on the music. And it wasn't like loud or anything. The music was just right. I don't know how to explain it. It's like one of those things where it's like, if you would just smell in that moment and you'd smell it in the future, it would take you back just to that warm comfort. Like it was just crazy. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like in that moment, I knew this is going to be a core memory. Just how everything felt. Like it felt so unreal. So right away she asks me if I'm hungry, if I want to eat anything and I'm not hungry. I'm really just like, no, like I'm fine. She's like, okay, let's go and get like a coffee or something. And I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, whatever you want. Because I don't want to overstep. I just want to enjoy the moment. I just want to take her in. Like I just want to just spend time with her. Whatever she wants to do, I'm cool with. I just missed her. I just wanted to see her. And I knew it wasn't going to last that long because she was going to start with her questions and that that's fine, that's fine. I just wanted to just enjoy and not rush anything. Now she asks me, what time do you have to be back? And I could already hear Baltimore in my head. Be back like in half an hour, an hour. And I tell her, I have to be back like in like an hour tops. She's like, why so soon? And I'm like, ah, uh, because she wants to take me out and she asks me like where who you know all the right questions and i'm telling her she just wants to take me out spend time with me and she's like oh yeah why and so uh, i tell her just because she wants to spend time and she just you know wants to get out of the house and yeah i didn't really want to tell her everything because in a way i kind of felt like what if it was an accident what if i'm just thinking too much i know you probably were screaming like why you guys have to remember, this is little Lex. I would do things so differently now, but I felt like what if I was just reading too much into it? And what if she's like, what, another person? So like this is going on with Mr. Peach and then this happens? Like it made me feel like it was just like, like it was just not gonna look good. You know what I mean? And so I was just like hella overthinking and it doesn't matter you guys, it does not matter. If something happens to you and you know it's wrong, please speak up. I feel like me sharing my my stories, my experiences, I hope it helps you guys and encourages you guys to speak up. Or if you have siblings, I hope you can encourage them to speak up if anything like this happens because it is very easy to be sweeped under the rug. And a child's mind is so like mine like how it was and i was just like oh like overthinking and stuff so we have to be their voices you know so anyways she and i are just talking she's telling me are you ready and i'm like for what and she's like you know and i'm like okay yeah because i know she's gonna start with her questions which is fine I was kind of a little like, uh, because I wasn't ready yet, but I knew that like I had to tell her, talk to her because that was the whole reason of her picking me up, right? Which kind of sucks because I just wanted to hang out with her, but it's fine. So she starts telling me like, where do you think this rumor came from? And I tell her, I'm like, I thought you were gonna bring Joe so he could kind of help me out with that. And so I'm telling her like, I don't really know. I don't know where it could have like, came from like I don't understand and she's like telling me that it's not my fault that even if anything did happen it's not my fault because at the end of the day he's an adult I'm a child and she's like I need you to understand that I was listening but at the same time I'm not gonna lie I was fighting with the person in my head I was fighting with the person in my head of bring up Baltimore bring up Baltimore bring up Baltimore the other part it was like angel and devil in my head it was like no she said she was sorry, she was trying to reach for the phone, even though the phone and my area do not feel the same, so that was not valid. The more that I think about like a lot of the things, the incidences that did happen, extreme predator vibes, for sure. But in my mind, I was like, you're overthinking it, you're overthinking it, like, no, 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 you're overthinking it, you're overthinking it. And 
I wasn't, y'all. That's what they want you to think. They want you to overthink and second guess yourself. They're hoping because they're so sick. And they're very good manipulators. Very, very good. She was very good with the manipulation. She was really, really good with that. So some of the things I don't remember her saying. I just remember being in my own head at the moment and kind of just like, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. And I'm telling her like, no, we've never slept together. No, no this, no that. And she's telling me that she is going to talk to the peaches, but that they have company. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like kind of upset and she tells me that they kind of were like what is it to you like nothing's going on with her like what is it to you you're not related to her or anything like that and she's like you know the nerve of these people and i'm like yeah they're just like that and she's like i just don't understand like these are people i've known and it's not like if she's being nosy for no good like for no good reason like she has valid reason and i'm like yeah so we're just like you know just cheese me on though like you're not wrong girl you're not wrong Again, she's just telling me, are you sure? Like nothing has ever happened. And I'm like, yeah, there has been times where like I do feel uncomfortable, but we've never done anything. And she just keeps asking me the same question, but in different, like wording it differently. And in a way I was kind of getting annoyed because I'm like, is she trying to trip me up? Is she trying to trip me up? But I feel like it was because she was probably trying to make me more comfortable to tell her the truth, you know? if there was truth, like if there was something I was hiding. And she was just trying to word it so that if I was lying, I would get caught up because she was wording the question different ways. And it kind of sucks because I was catching on how she was doing it. And I was kind of like getting kind of sad because it felt like she wasn't believing me, but it was just because she wanted to get the truth if anything did happen so that she could protect me. But at the time, being young and not really knowing, I was just kind of getting upset at her. Like, what's your game? Like, what, what are you trying to like, are you with them? Are you with them? Are you friends with her? Tell me now, are you friends with her? Like it was giving that kind of vibe, you know? And I'm not gonna lie, I was just like, what's your ball game? Play it. <laughs> She's asking me, just like, how have you been? How's your mom? And we start talking about my mom and I ball. I ball like a baby. I ball because I am just so upset. Where it's, instead of me, mm, and, oh my God. <laughs> instead of me being happy and being like, I think that's why too I gravitated to toward bubbles. Cause she's very motherly. And instead of me like having that moment with, like my mom, I was having it with bubbles, you know? And it kind of just like really upset me because it felt like I couldn't even like talk to my mom about like lots of things because it made me feel like, what are you gonna do? Nothing. So what's the point of saying anything to you? Like that's how it felt. And it felt like my mom only gave a fuck when she didn't have anywhere or when she was bipolar and then now she could like express these feelings and it just kind of pissed me off because I felt like I should have been having these moments with her and not with bubbles and when I did have the moments with my mom it was like it was a little too late you know and it just it just pissed me off so I cried and I cried and I cried with bubbles where I just start shivering I hate when I cry that hard where I shiver like I literally feel like mmm Like my body goes cold and I have so many goosebumps and like I can't get warm. It feels like my heart is drained with all the blood that it has in it that I am like slowly dying and I'm just like cold, extremely cold. My teeth are just chattering and I am just trying to like hug myself to warm myself up to get my heart beating again because it literally feels like I'm just going ice cold. And I hate when I cry that hard because in my mind, I kind of want to start to protect my heart and have that mindset of no one is ever going to hurt me like this again. Like, F everybody. This is not how I want to be. I don't want to be crying like this. And I want to protect my heart. And it literally feels like my heart goes cold. 
and I don't like it because those are moments that I remember telling myself never again, never again. And like, why am I crying to a stranger that I met and I'm not even crying to someone who I share blood with. I'm crying with a complete stranger. And even though like I love bubbles, I adore bubbles, it makes me so angry that a complete stranger is showing more kindness than like my own pack. And so I'm sobbing, I'm sobbing, I'm sobbing. And then the voice in my head just starts getting angry and angry and angry. And I just want to lash out. Like I literally just want to fight. I am just, I had so many times in my mind where I'm like, F it, I don't care. I don't care about the consequences. I don't care about this. And I would really hate when I would think like that because moments later, when I calm down, I'd be like, oh, that was so stupid to even think. And I hate to have those kind of thoughts because it makes me feel so nasty. So I think she notices that I kind of just like get quiet and my teeth are no longer chattering. And she kind of just tells me, are you okay? Do you want to talk about it anymore? And I'm like, no, I don't. I know I kind of upset her that I didn't want to talk about it anymore because you kind of want to just get down to like what's going on and you want to know. Cause I even get mad too when I'm like talking to my teens and I ask them, do you want to keep talking about it? No. And I get like, and then I'm like, okay. But like deep down, I want, to, I want to keep talking about it so we can get, you know, we can get it fixed. But I know that sometimes space is what's needed. And since we were just talking about my mom, we sort of, I feel like both knew that like, what can really be done? We can't. We can talk till we're blue in the face, but what is it gonna do if like my mom's not ready to like be there? And she will be there, but on her own terms. So she's kind of still sniffling and she gets a phone call. She answers it and she's like, oh no, it's because me and Alexa are talking. And she looks at me and she tells me that she's gonna go outside real quick. And I'm like, okay. So I stay in the car. I can't really hear what they're talking about. Well, her and whoever's on the phone. I can't really hear what they're talking about. And she kind of just looks kind of frustrated. She's making lots of like face mo like movements. Like I just like going like this and just like, like, okay, okay, okay. And just going like that. And then in my head, I already kind of knew cause like I'm a bruja. It's her dude. And he's probably telling her, I don't want her over here. I don't want that kind of stuff over here. I don't know. And she probably feels like she's stuck in a hard place because she cares about me, but she loves her husband. And I get it and I get it and I get it. Even though I shouldn't have like got it so young, I, I just understood, like I just got it. She kind of takes a moment to like breathe outside and we make eye contact through the window. She just smiles and her smile told me a million things. I love you. I want you to be safe, but I just can't and I feel so guilty, but I just don't know how to tell you. And she didn't have to say any of it. I just knew. Some things just don't need to be said. You just know, your heart just knows, your soul just knows. And it's just so weird when that happens, when so much can be said without needing to be said. And I remember when I would be able to do that with my mom, like I would want to confirm it and she'd be like, Jade, you already know. And I'm like, I know, I just want to make sure that I'm right. And it's okay. I understand why she couldn't save me. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot to take on a teen who is bad, you know, because I wasn't. I was just very misunderstood and I was put in a very bad environment and it shouldn't have been other people trying to save me. It should have been my mom. I get it. I get it. It's nobody else's fault. I completely understand. So, she takes me to the store and it's kind of just like silent between us. And I honestly feel it's because she was trying to work up how to talk to me about, hey, I know I said all this on the phone, but I won't be able to. I can't. 
you know? But it just felt like we were just wasting time when we could have just been like laughing together. Because I, I understood, I understood, but I know she was going to feel guilty. You could just see it all over her face. Once she got off, her, off that phone, she, it, the whole, everything just changed. And I just didn't know how to tell her, like, it was okay. Like, I didn't know how to tell her soon enough. It was okay. Because what if I were to say, it's okay, and she's like, what are you talking about? We're not, that's not even a concern, you know? So I was over here dealing with my own emotions, and we're walking around just not really talking and kind of making small talk, and it was just weird. It honestly was just very weird Baltimore had sent me a message saying to call her but I didn't respond I was just in the moment with bubbles and honestly just trying to enjoy every single moment because I knew that I wasn't going to have her for long and I just wanted to feel and pretend and be in la la land that I had someone who really really cared and we were just shopping we were just shopping and it was just a normal day and I didn't have a crazy life. So we're shopping, she's asking me if I need anything, underwear, shirts, to get whatever I need. Get whatever you need, Alexis, please don't hesitate. Just get whatever you need. And in my mind, I kind of want to not be a bitch, not be a brat, but just ask. So I'm not going to be able to stay with you. Just so I can have confirmation too. And that's not okay to like think that or like put her on the spot. But I don't want to put her on the spot. I just want confirmation because get out of here, hit her. I just want confirmation of like, I'm right, right? Like I'm right. Like you you can't say what you said you were going to do, right? I'm not going to hate you for it. I'm not going to love you less. I just want to make sure because no one can save me. No one can save me. If everyone has good speeches but no one can come through. So as we go to another store, and another store, and another store, the silence is so thick, so thick, where it feels like, like, what am I even doing here? Just break my heart already. Just tell me. Just tell me I'm too hard to love. Tell me you can't be there. Tell me that you don't wanna risk your marriage for some troubled kid. End it now. Abandon me now. Leave me here at the store, please. It literally felt like I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop and I just wanted it to happen already. Like just do it, just do it. Cause the pain that I was feeling in my heart was literally like heartbreak. And it felt like this was gonna be the very, very last time we see each other. Very last time. Because I was so tired of being told false promises. I was so tired of just all of it. And I think the reason why as an adult, when my brothers or a close family member went through it with their parents, I made sure that when I said, I got you, I really meant it. Because I was so used to people saying it and not really meaning it or they wanted to mean it, they just couldn't. But I made sure when my brothers needed me or the certain family member needed me or a certain person in my life that wasn't blood needed me, I made sure when I gave my word, I stuck to it. Even though it caused fights with me and my husband, even though it did cause lots of stress because it is hard. I made sure that if I gave my word, I meant it. And también, I think I watched too much gangsta movies because I really liked how a lot of the gangsta movies I like that I watched, their word was everything. And it was almost like you couldn't be disappointed. You weren't gonna be let down. You gave them your word. And that's, that's really not good to think either, you guys. That really is toxic. In some ways, because not everything needs to be like that. If it's hurting you and it's not good for you, let it go. I would always be like, nope, I said it though and I have to see it through and I have to and I have to. Even though it was hurting inside and it was too much for me, you know? So not everything needs to be literal 
and you need to understand that and you need to explain that to the young ones too because there's young people who really think that they have to stick by and do it because they said they said and it's gonna make them look like a punk no it's not and not everything is literal and a lot of the times i should have maybe stepped out like no i can't with like this certain family member that like i involved myself and was there for because i was the one to get burned at the end i should have helped out to a certain extent and then i should have just let go you know and i feel like as i get older i i know now and I don't want y'all to have to wait till like it happens for you to be like, oh, I wish I would have known. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. I'm giving you the advice now. So that you don't have to you don't have to do it. So we're walking around in silence and I finally just ask her what's wrong. And she kind of just looks at me and she's like, Oh, Alexis. I wish things were easy. I wish things were simple. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And she goes, do you? And I go, yeah, I do. And it's okay. I don't want you and your husband to fight about me. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. I get it. And she goes, it's because his dad thinks, Joe's dad thinks that you guys are gonna end up together and you're gonna get pregnant young. Only if you knew. Just kidding. But I was like, yeah, I get it. And just, it's just too much. And it will be setting a bad example to Joe that we're playing house. And I just had to keep telling her, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because I'm not going to sit here and tell her, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to try to prove myself to be under her house if her and her husband already talked and it was already causing stress. I didn't want to cause any more stress on her. I didn't want to, I just wanted to love her and have the, our, our, I just wanted to have the relationship that we had and I didn't want to push her away. And who knows y'all, what if we would have had babies? What if it would have turned to something? What if, what if? I didn't want to sit there and be like, no, no, but we're not, but we're not. I didn't want her to be like, it doesn't matter what you say, Alexis, like me and him already discussed it. And he said, no, I didn't want to hear that. I really hated hearing a man have the upper hand in a relationship because it just reminded me of my mom and my stepdad. And I just didn't like to hear it. It isn't because like, I thought like, oh, you weak. I just didn't like hearing it. It like literally just did something to me where I'm just like, ugh. I remember, when i asked one of my cousins to spend the night and she's like oh my dad said no and i was like um okay ask your mom <laughs> because i just didn't want to i didn't want that to be her answer of like my dad said you know but it was just because of the toxic environment that my mom and my stepdad had like i didn't have to ask my stepdad when i wanted to go somewhere what my mom told me was we would do and then when he wanted to play stepdad role, then that's when it'd be like, ask him, you know? So I really hated when <laughs> I would hear like, my dad said, I'm like, okay, your daddy, bitch. I don't even got one. So I don't want to hear about yours. Okay. So yeah. So I just, I'm just like, okay, I am kind of annoyed. I'm not going to lie. Just because I really hated how he had the final say. And it really made me mad that she couldn't just be like, I'm bringing her and that's that. And I really hated how part of me kind of got my hopes up, kind of, kind of, because I really wanted her to come through and be like, girl, I don't care what he said. You're coming home with me. I'm saving you. And you're going to have the best life in your, you're going to have your best childhood ever. And it's going to, uh, uh, your life is going to be like a movie and you're going to be able to tell people like, yeah, and she's the one who saved me. It's going to be like Matilda vibes up in here, bitch. I'm gonna save you. I got you. You know, it really, I was really hoping for that. I was really hoping for, I was gonna have that happily ever after. But then, reality kicked in. That's not your life, bitch. And the Green Reaper came in and was like, 
back to the peaches it is. So we're really walking around the store doing nothing. And she just keeps saying, I'm so sorry, Alexis. I'm, if, I just wish things were different. And I wanted to say, how? How? How do you wish things were different? That your husband wouldn't have this idea that I'm just such a, a little this, a little that? How? 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 And I just was just taking what she was saying and I was like, yeah, me too. And I, I was getting kind of annoyed, even though it was not her fault. It was not her fault. It's not her, her fault to save me. It's not. Because at the end of the day, I had a mom and she should have been the one to be there. Instead of wanting to play house with my stepdad. Period. But I couldn't help but feel pissed off even though I already knew that like it wasn't going to be possible. But I was still mad because I still had like a little bit of hope. Even though I shouldn't have. But I did. So it was just like fighting with myself. So we're walking around and I tell her like I'm going to have to be, I'm going to have to go soon. Well, tomorrow wants me home. And she's like, oh, just don't be like that. I was like, no, like, it's not even because, like, what was said. It, I have to, I have to get back. And I'm, like, trying so hard to put on a fake face because I literally am mad. Like, I, I am mad. I'm not going to lie. I'm mad. I am hurt. I'm just, like, in a way, I feel like I jinxed it because I was, like, telling myself, like, no, you, she is going to save you. No, she is going to be, like, and in a, in a weird way, I feel like, I wasn't gonna go back home to Baltimore. She was just gonna be like, you're gonna stay with me and that's it. And it was because I watched too much movies. She keeps apologizing and I have to keep telling her like, it's fine. Like it really, it's fine. And she keeps going, Alexis, no, I don't think you understand. And I'm like, I'm used to it. Now when I say I'm used to it, I think I kind of irritated her. Used to what? And I tell her, like, I'm just used to people saying things and not really meaning them and needing permission. Permission? And I'm like, yeah. I shouldn't have said it. 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 But I have to give Lex, like y'all say, I can't be too hard on little Lex, even though I, at times, little Lex was a little bitch. And I wanted to go back and be like, what the fuck are you saying that? Oh my God, right on my forehead. And I see that she kind of like just, you know, gathers herself a little bit when we head to the car. And I get in the back seat because I'm petty. I get in the back seat instead of getting in the front. And she <laughs> kind of just like looks back and she's like, I'm sorry, Alexis. Like, I really am. And I'm sorry that I'm just another person on your list to disappoint you. I'm like, uh-huh. I didn't want to end it there. I didn't want to end it there. I didn't want to leave upset. I was so mad on the inside. I wanted to be like, I'm just kidding. I don't know why I said that, even though I kind of feel like it's true, but I didn't want, I don't want you to be mad at me. But I was just like, nope, I gotta stand my ground. I gotta stand my ground. I hate it when I would get like that. Like I hated it. I hated when I would be like, nope, too bad, so sad. Now we gotta stay mad. The drive was silent. She did give me, get me a few things. She bought me some socks, some underwear, the necessities, and the bag was in the back. We get closer to where I'm gonna get dropped off at. And she gets out the car and I don't even get off. I just stay there. Like I'm gonna like really throw a fit right now. She opens the door and she kind of just like, you know, but doesn't really tell me. And I'm like, and I just scoot, scoot there. And she just tells me, Alexis, I'm, I'm sorry, and hugs me. And I don't hug her back, y'all. I don't know why I was being a little bianch. I was just like, you know? And she's like, if things were different, I'm like, you keep saying that. But the thing is like, you don't want to make them different. And then I just start walking. I just start walking, she's like, Alexis. And I just start walking and I am crying because I'm like, oh my God, like I know I'm never gonna be able to like go with her. like. She's never going to save me. Like I'm like I'm never gonna have like this good ending that I want. I'm never gonna have like the mother figure that I want. So I'm just walking. And she could just she could call my name. And I keep thinking, what if you turn around 
and she's like, get in the car. I'm like, is it even going to be genuine or is she just going to take me now because I'm sad? But I'm like, no. Mm -mm. And I just keep walking. I just keep walking and I kind of hear like a bag, like I'm trying to, like that. And I'm like, I forgot my underwear. And so I just start walking faster. Okay, I just start walking faster because I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do this no more. I open the door and Baltimore is in there and she's just like, get the this because I'm crying and I'm like, nada. And I just go to the restroom and I freaking bawl like a baby. I bawl like a baby because I am just like, I felt like I was breaking up with bubbles. Like it honestly felt like it was like a breakup. And then I was more mad at myself that I let my anger get the best of me because we could have ended it nicely and I wouldn't be feeling caca with this guilt of being so mean. And I'm like, it's not her fault that her husband said that he didn't want me there because of his reasons or whatever. Like, it's not her fault. And I shouldn't expect someone else to want to take care of me. Like, I shouldn't expect anyone to save me. At the end of the day, I got myself. What is it, Jade? Me, myself, and I. Period. That's it. All the time. Who? Me, myself, and I. That's it. Eight. so i stay in there a little bit and i kind of just like let myself cry give myself like a good two minutes to like cry mocos todo and i'm like eh, i'm not gonna dwell on any on it anymore i'm about to go on vacation with baltimore I'm about to be stupid like i don't even care and i just try to get over it but then those two minutes of it's not a big deal it'll be all right chin up you crying about mommy and daddy issues there's people out there that have it so much worse than you buck up and shut the f up and i literally had these talks with myself all the time all the time because obviously i was dealt the hand that i was for a reason so work with what you got because there's people who have it worse legs so shut up and do what you got to do and i think that's why my heart was so cold for so long and as corny as it sounds i honestly think my husband melted my heart Oh my god. <laughs> We're just crying a lot today, huh? I honestly think when I met my husband, my heart really did melt because it was so frozen for a very long time. This eye drop better not drop. It was so frozen for such a long time that i really did think that i was just gonna be one of those miserable viejas that i complain about that was just upset about life all the time and god said you have to wait and it's very true when they say love has to come and look for you you cannot look for love because when you look for love it will not be pure because it wasn't for you and you can't force it if you force something and you keep saying, show me a sign, show me a sign. And he keeps showing you those signs and you keep acting like you didn't see them. That's why. And I wasn't looking for love when I found babe. And I think that's why it hit a lot different. And I was like, oh my God. Because <laughs> the coincidences of how we met, it was, too, it was too much. And it was just crazy as we started talking more and like getting to know each other. It was just too crazy. It was just too crazy of like we were always... Barely miss each other, always. And it literally, it, it drives me crazy because I'm like, that's nuts. So after I'm done crying, like, Baltimore knocks on the door. I was waiting. I was waiting. And she was going to come knocking. I really was. I was like, um, once she knocks, I'm going to fully stop. Toda está bien. And I'm like, yes. She's like, traes pues. I was like, nothing. She's like, why are you crying then? And I'm like, I'm not. 
And she tells me like, hurry up, go get ready so that we can leave. Now, I know you're probably thinking, don't go, don't go, don't go. But I went. So she tells me to go and get ready. I get out of the bathroom and she kind of just like looks at me. And I'm like, okay. So, ah. so I go upstairs and I pack whatever I do have because she says we're going to be gone for a few nights. And I'm just like, I don't even care. I don't even care. My mom has even called to check up on me. She'll be there doing her life. I'm going to do mine. Again, my heart is cold. I got an ice box in my heart. Literally felt like that. And I was like, fuck this. Everybody, 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 everybody. So I'm packing, I glance over at my phone, and I see that Bubble sent me a message. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't care. I don't understand, bitch, I don't understand. I don't, like I don't even wanna hear what she has to say or whatever reason, I'm just like, whatever. It don't matter. Cause at the end of the day, what, what, what is it? You're sad that you hurt my heart, it's okay. I always got a special place for Bubbles in my heart. But at the time, I'm not gonna lie to kick it. Your girl was hurt. I felt like I lost another mom. That's what it felt. <laughs> oh, my eyes red as <laughs> It's gonna be one emotional story time. One emotional ass story time. Buckle up. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna do the, we're gonna improvise on that. But yeah, that's what it felt like. We'll stop crying so we can continue. And Bubbles, if you're watching, I'm okay, just click off. <laughs> that's what I have to tell my mom too reading the titles and stuff i'm like mom just click off please because we gonna fight <laughs> double because sometimes after story time i'm not gonna lie i call my mom <laughs> and i want to fight with her so damn bad sometimes i do i'm not gonna lie sometimes i do fight with her because i'm just like i could never you know um, and sometimes I just call her just to hear her voice because I don't want to be angry at her no more. It's just a lot. And that's why when family sometimes asks me like, when's the next story time? It's going to be a minute because I got, this is not the only crying I do because I cry so much. I cry during, wait, no, I cry before, I cry during. I cry when I edit. I cry when I read the comments. It's a lot, <laughs> but it's healing. Ay, su puta madre. It's a lot of healing, so yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a little patchy right there because I was crying like a little bitch. After I'm done, I'm going to go help my husband and my son with the yard work. I wonder if I should take my makeup off after I'm done doing story time or just leave it. And so the people who are passing by are like, what the? Cheers for every time I freaking cry. Take a shot. And thank you for allowing me to heal. So yeah, I feel like I lost another mom. Uh, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Cause I don't wanna say it when I cry. I feel like I lost a mom. Good job, Jada. Good job. So I pack up and go downstairs. Baltimore's already. She's all excited. Her face all like that, and I'm just like, when she tells me, "Are you sure you're okay?" and I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "What all did you guys talk about?" I'm like, "I told her I was gonna go on the road with you." She's like, "Why'd you tell her that?" and I'm like, "Cause why not?" She's like, oh, "I just don't like everyone knowing my business." And I was like, "It's not everyone. It's bubbles." And she was like, "But why do you always have to tell everyone everything?" And I said, "Why? Do, what do you mean? I don't want to tell everybody anything. If anything, that's you guys. You guys always do that." She's like, "What? What are you talking about?" I'm like, "Yeah, you guys are always saying each other's business." And so what if I told her that? Like, what's wrong with me telling her that? She's like, I just don't want any problems. I was like, why would you have any problems? Like, I don't understand. Like, 
you're being a little bit dramatic. She's like, don't call me dramatic. Don't tell me that I'm not. Like, show some respect. And I was like, what? How am I not showing respect? All I said was, that's being a little dramatic. She says, don't talk to me like that. And I was like, talk to you like what? And she's like, you know what you're doing. And I said, what am I doing? She goes, just because you're in a bad mood doesn't mean you got to ruin my mood. And I said, I'm not even in a bad mood. She says, yes, you are. You were just crying a minute ago. And I said, so what? I can cry. She said, no one said you can't cry. I just said, you're in a bad mood. And I said, no, I'm not. And she said, yes, you are. And I said, you cry all the time. She was like, well, that's not true. And I'm like, yeah, you do. And you cry over Mr. Peach. That's even worse. She goes, what? Why are you so insulting? I said, no, I'm not. You're insulting. So we're literally just going back and forth and she keeps telling me like do you even want to go and i'm like oh my god if you don't want to go that's fine i don't know why you told me that to get ready i don't like that and she goes what do you mean i'm like yeah i don't like that when people say they're gonna do something and they don't do it and she goes ah que pasó? and i was like nothing happened like i'm just telling you i hate when people do that and she goes so what are you referring to because i know you're not just attacking me or attacking somebody else and i'm like oh my god here we go i don't got the time for this i don't want to sit here and do this with you and she said do what and i said this back and forth like it's so exhausting don't you get tired and she said get tired of what and i said this don't you get tired of this and she goes no and i say okay then i'm just gonna go upstairs and she goes okay i'll call you in a little bit maybe when you have a better attitude then i'll take you and i said don't take me you're not doing me any favors you're you're the one who did what you did and she said what are you talking about and I said you know what I'm talking about and I didn't just flat out said it. I just said you know what you're talking about she said you see no one can ever make a mistake or do something because you want to throw it in their face and I said that wasn't a mistake she said yes it was why are you so gross and I said no I'm, I'm not gross you're gross she goes yes you are and I say no I'm not and she's like you know what go upstairs I don't even know if I want to go anymore and I'm like you know what that's fine I don't even know if I want to go either I don't like when you do that she said do what and I said make promises and not keep them she said again what are we talking about and I said you know what we're talking about she's like I don't even know what you're talking about it seems like you're just saying something and you're not even really arguing with me you're probably arguing about what bubbles told you and I said what she said yeah she you probably thought she was gonna save you I said you're sick she goes Hmm, I'm not the only one. So I storm upstairs because I am pissed off because I'm like what is she talking about and I'm like that gullible that even she knows that I wanted to be saved and I wasn't. So she's still saying stuff downstairs. I'm, I can't even really hear her at this point. I'm just like, shut up because I just don't want to hear what she has to say. I feel stupid where I'm like, oh my God, is it that noticeable that like I really thought I was going to be saved? And this just proves her point that like ain't nobody going about me so she finally comes and gets me and she's like alexis i need to talk to you and i'm like what she's like i'm sorry and i'm like mm, here we go again because i was getting really tired of her stupid outbursts and then wanting to apologize like it was just exhausting like i was just really tired of like hearing it and like i'm sorry like i don't know why i'd get like this like it's just annoying i don't want to hear it no one cares i don't care she was just apologizing, like, I don't know why I say things. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. And I just tell her. I'm like, can you just save it? Like, can we just go? Like, wherever you wanted to, like, go do, can we just go? And she goes, yes, I'm just waiting on somebody. I said, who are you waiting for? And she's like, it's just my friend. And I'm like, oh, if your friend's going, ya no quiero ir. And she's like, why do you get like that? And I'm like, no, no quiero ir. Like, I don't want to go. Like, I thought it was just going to be me and you, especially how you were saying sorry. And I don't want to go. She gets annoyed, y'all. She's like, oh, I hate that you're like that. Like, everything has to be how you want. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Like, it doesn't. I'm like, you made it seem like one thing. I'm like, I don't feel comfortable going with a guy. And she's like, well, what if something were to happen? And I was like, you see, I don't like how you, how you, how you do things. Like, you make me feel like I have to and I don't want to. And she's like, well, where are you going to go? And I was like, I'll just stay here. She's like, I don't feel comfortable you staying here by yourself. I'm like, why not? And she tells me that she just doesn't, that like, what if something happens? And I'm like, well, I don't want to go. If it's okay, I can call the peaches and I can see if I can go over there. Like, I don't want to go. And she's like, you really think they're going to want you over there right now with everything that had happened? I'm like, I didn't do anything. Like, I honestly didn't. She's like, I know, but do you think they're going to want you over there? And I'm like, probably not, but I can't stay here because you said, and I don't want to go with another guy. Like, I thought it was just going to be me and you. And she kind of smiled when I said it and it made me feel a little ill, just how she was like, smiling and then she's like i'm joking i'm joking he's just gonna bring me something that he owes me and that's it and i was like oh she's like yeah just a joke it is just gonna be me and you and i'm like oh okay <sighs> i'm telling y'all if i could go back and be my own ass i would i would and i'd be like again stand up again again and again and again and again 
until I couldn't no more. So it feels like he takes forever to come. Like it honestly feels like forever. I keep telling her like, are we gonna even go today? Like should we just plan on it tomorrow? And she's like, oh yeah, cause you have to clock in somewhere, huh? Cause you got somewhere to be. And I kind of laugh cause I'm like, yeah, for real. Like where do I have to be? So we wait what feels like freaking forever. And then her friend finally shows up and he has a bag. And I kind of just look at her and she gives me like a nod, like, you know, <sighs> I was so annoyed. So she tells me to go upstairs. She talks to this friend and I come back downstairs after she calls me and she's like, okay, let's go. And I was like, he was going to go, huh? And she's like, yeah, he was, but it's fine. It could just be us. I was so annoyed because it made me feel... Like, ugh, it's my fault. But there was no reason I think that he needed to come. And how she was telling me like, oh, I did this all the time. She never was like, oh, I brought a guy with me. She was like, me and Sam. So it kind of just like rubbed me wrong. And it kind of just like annoyed me. Because what was the intention of him going? And I was like, maybe I'm just thinking too much. Like at the time that I was thinking. Now as a grown as adult, I'm like, they were probably going to do cochinas with me or something like that because she was implying that like this was going to be something fun and we were gonna you know drink and like it was not good if he would have went i don't think i would have came back just because i just don't feel like i would have came back y'all i don't feel like i would have came back so i was kind of like annoyed because it felt like it was my fault and it wasn't it was hers she asks me if i've been talking to the peaches or anything like that and i'm like no she's like they're still upset and I'm like upset about what and she was like well of course like what was said and I was like yeah but it wasn't my fault and she's like yeah I know but we how do we know that and I kind of just like look at her and I'm like what do you mean like it wasn't my my fault or my doing she's like you'll say it but it's just it's just I don't know how to explain it maybe when you get older you'll understand and I was like understand what and she just keeps telling me it's complicated it's complicated and for real you guys i really did think it was my fault for like a split second but it wasn't like it really wasn't it was their grown ass doing and how they would cheese me out but they were so used to people around them i guess being like no like yeah it is my fault and i kind of wasn't like backing down from it i was like mm, it's not my fault like i don't know what i what i did like how is it my fault and she was sitting there like you know and i was like I was like, no, like, I don't understand. Like, explain to me. She's like, ah, Alexis, we're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now. Like, she was really annoyed with me that, like, I really wanted to, like, know, like, explain to me, like, how it, how is it my fault, you know? And she's like, we're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now. So I was like, okay. We get in the car. We stop at the gas station. We get some snacks. She lets me get some things. And we start hitting the road. Y'all, I don't know what I thought. I really don't. I don't know why I didn't call my mom and tell her like we're leaving. I don't know like why I thought like it wasn't that big of a deal. Part of me did. I don't know why I thought it was okay. I don't know what I thought. A lot of the things that I share with you guys. You know how I mentioned that she had asked me to please promise her that I wouldn't share or anything like that. It's because a lot of the things it was wrong. She had no business taking me out of state drinking with me partying it up with me there was no reason why i needed to do any of that looking back i thought we are both rebelling and being crazy because of all the drama from the beaches me grown as hell now that was not okay that is what you call grooming that is what you call buying and she bought me when Baltimore took me we did a lot of things that we shouldn't have like the drinking the smoking I literally was acting like I was grown with her and she was my best friend I really felt like oh my god this is what we both needed and we were drinking very heavy she was buying anything that i wanted i really felt like she really got me and i was just too blind to see 
that this was not okay. It's not like if we were the same age and we were having a girl's trip, no. I thought she was so cool because she was literally buying my I really like the eye look though. I feel like if next time when I do my makeup, I definitely should do the eye look again. I really liked it. Next, we should do Joker. Why so serious? There's some things I'm gonna keep just because I feel like I'm just not ready to talk about it yet. And I honestly feel disgusted. But most of the things that we were doing, we we're going to hotels, staying in hotels. We were doing a little bit of like nurture walking, walking around, looking around. And I really didn't see anything bad with it. Like I literally thought like we were like bonding until the third night. The third night I feel like is when things went really left. So anyways, we partied it up. We had fun. We had drinks. We went... <sighs> She bought me scratch off tickets. I was feeling like I was grown, even though I was not grown. I was not grown at all. But she was making me feel so comfortable. We were laughing. Now when I look back, when she would like put her arm over me, get really close. She was one of those drunks that were just like too touchy, 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 but I just chalked it up. Even though I felt uncomfortable, I just chalked it up as like, oh, she's just a little bit that. And sometimes some girls do kiss when they do get drunk. So if you guys know what I'm saying, you guys know what I'm saying but at the end of the day I was a child she was a grown-ass adult there are some things that I'm not gonna go and I'm not gonna go too much in detail and share just because I'm not ready and I do still feel very very uncomfortable I do still very I do I do still feel very uncomfortable and I just don't want to talk about that yet but in the future I I probably will anyways we were having fun we didn't go into bars or anything like that it was more we made the hotel like our little like kickback and then we went driving and it was there was really not that much to do but she made sure that we were doing fun stuff and the whole time I was just better 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 because I felt like this was my friend at the time and I was so desperate for that friendship and just to feel cool and she was doing that she was doing it at that moment and I felt like cool maybe it's just what we needed you know and the whole time we were like talking crap about the peaches and about this she confessed to me that yeah she was sleeping with Mr. Peach she was sleeping with him and you know, she <laughs> Me. It's just that she can't, he can't leave because of the kids. Like, do sabes, do sabes. Shh, let me tell you a secret. And I would just, you know, she would tell me like what she would do and how, what she would perform on him. And I'm telling you, I don't think it was just because she was intoxicated. I think because she finally felt like, okay, she could like reveal her true self. And there was a lot that I did learn from her. And it was just very crazy because I, I did think like, oh, like we're friends. Like she's telling me so much intimate things, like we're friends. Like she was telling me how she was performing certain things on him, how she would move. She was literally telling me how to move my hips on someone to create a certain thing, to get a certain thing. She was asking me like, hey, like, this has he ever did this has he ever done that like oh this feels so good even talking about it it just feels so crazy because it should we should have never had those conversations ever and at the time i was really thinking like oh we bonded yeah she was telling like she was like homegirl was letting me know this and that and this and that but we should have never had those conversations like me as a grown-ass adult now we should have never had those conversations at all and like what is wrong with you you're sick like you really are i'm not even saying it as like trying to be funny like you're sick no like you're mentally ill that's not okay if i would ever catch anybody talking to any of my kids like this i would literally lose my shit because i could write a book on all the things that she like taught me and it wasn't okay and it really did make me even more not innocent it made me feel like I knew too much so I couldn't even be innocent anymore because I already know. 
you know she's telling me stuff and she was really telling me that mr peach cannot leave because he's trapped and he tried you seen he tried he tried alexis he tried and when we get on the subject of like are you pregnant she was saying that she thought she was but she she's not because she was drinking too and that was her way of celebrating because she wasn't and then when i got on the topic of like isn't his kid she was like we're not ready for that we're not ready for that yet like patience patience because i wanted to like knock down that door and i kind of just laughed and we were kind of like laughing and kind of just like hitting each other and it was just very 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 weird at the moment it didn't feel weird because she was making me feel so comfortable but it was very very weird and gross and it makes my skin crawl to think of like how nasty this was and it really made me feel like i'm having nightmares about it because it's bringing up a lot of unwanted feelings and it really i'm trying to put i'm trying to give you guys info without having to overshare because like i'm not ready we watched p together because in her way she was trying to give me pointers on what to do and how to do it because she kept saying like oh you want me to show you and i was like no and i bet you anything if i would have let her she probably would have so her way of showing was to put on p and i really didn't think anything really of it i was just i felt uncomfortable but i kept telling myself like you're tripping you're tripping she's literally like over here talking about mr peach like you're tripping you're tripping and we were watching pee together and i know she was getting happy because she kept like going like this and like going like this and like to herself you know she was like oh like saying like nasty things and i was like you're crazy like we we're like laughing and it, at the moment it felt okay but it was not okay so she got so happy she ended up going to the restroom and she turned on the shower and i could hear and i'm going to be very very honest with you guys i myself was starting to get happy but not because of her because like it was just it's just I don't, I don't even know and i feel guilty even admitting it and when i started to feel happy i literally was like and cried because i was like oh, i shouldn't be like that's really really like not okay not okay the third night she did try to do something and it ended up just making it really weird between the both of us and i was kind of like over the trip i was kind of like uh oh, we parted a little bit too hard i'm ready to go back home and she was saying like oh like we over welcomed our stay like it's one of those things that people only should be gone for like one two days because then like the third day it starts to go bad it made it weird she was trying to like you know talk to me and was like alexis like that this was so fun like thank you so much like for spending time with me she was like really gassing me up like oh my god you're so mature like i could i could never do this with mrs peach well like you know the obvious obvious and she starts laughing like she's so funny and i'm like yeah 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 you know and she's like i get a little bit sloppy when i'm like drunk and stuff like i don't even remember i don't even remember what i do the next day and i'm like yeah and to be honest you guys my 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 nights were kind of blurred too so whatever i could remember and jot down and even as i'm talking now and it's bringing up memories i really wish that i wouldn't have drank so much so i could remember every single little detail but she's just telling me oh my god you're so mature like that was so fun like i've never got to a party like that with like my own friends and like we went to like the little movies that they had out there again we went to like little like walks and stuff we were doing scratch offs like crazy going to the gas station like we were acting like teenagers together but the only teenager there was me and it was just it was just we had no care in the world no one was bugging us my mom wasn't reaching out bubbles had her message again the ex wasn't messaging no one was bugging her no one was bugging me we literally were like no one even cared and we were just busy game we're always just like suppressing it and never getting it out the weird feeling of it just creeping and you're just like cry cry and i literally scream in her ear 
I don't know if she told you, but I just had my crying session. Or if we just because we suppress it. And dude, I can't see because I got contacts and they're non prescription. <laughs> A certain smell can trigger it. Yeah, it literally felt like no one cared. It felt like life went on pause. We got to go explore, come back, and it's like everything unpaused. So as we were driving back, we got our snacks. We got more scratch offs. She got me like a lot of scratch offs and whatever I won, she went and got. So it was like $3, $5, $10 here and there. And then sometimes nothing, but it was like endless. It wasn't like she told me like, this is coming out of your paycheck. This, 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 it was endless money. She was letting me use. And so it was, it felt so cool. So we're driving on our way back. We have the snacks, we're just talking and she's just hyping me up of, oh my God. You are so fun to hang out with. We should, we should do this often, but it just has to be our secret because no one really understands Alexis because then they want to make something out of nothing and make drama. And I'm literally just like eating this up. And I'm like, mm-hmm, they do. They really, really do. Like, they're crazy, you know? She's telling me that when she drinks, she doesn't really remember what she does and stuff. So she's sorry maybe she like, you know, touched me. Something that made me feel like weird or anything like that. But like, it's okay because like we're girls and stuff. Like, ew, gross. I only like guys. And I kind of just like took that with like a, oh, okay, yeah, you know? Didn't really try to over dissect it at the moment. And at the same time, I'm still kind of, I'm still trying to like recover from like my hangover because like we drink a lot. We drink a lot, a lot. And I'm usually like more careful with that. I don't like to drink with just anybody, but it just felt right at that time in the way I felt like I was grown. I didn't see anything wrong because I was like, we're just chilling, we're just like homies, but. It was completely wrong. It was not okay. It was really disgusting. It was really gross, especially a lot of the things that happened. So we're driving, we're just talking, just talking. And I vid vividly remember this moment because this moment kind of made me feel like, like I was going to be forever judged with this moment. So. We got off at the gas station. There's this girl. She is very, very, sorry guys, I'm really cold. She is very, very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful body, everything. She is just oh, gorgeous. You can admire someone and not be gay. And I say that because this is going to play into future story times. She catches me looking at this lady and I'm like, thinking in my head like, I wish my cuerpo looked like that, my body. I wish that like I had boobs because I didn't have enough boobs. I wish I had that. Like she looks really, really good. Now, Baltimore is is putting gas in and she sees me watching and so she hits the hood and she's like, hey, what the hell? Like I'm like, I have Baba coming out. And I was like, stop. Because like I thought she was playing with me. And she's like, why are you looking at her like that? Like, oh, que cochina it is. And I was really like, oh my God, we're going to start back up and you're going to be rude to me because like we're almost like, hours away from the house like wow okay and so i tell him like what, what, what's wrong with you the whole way home she kept like making things gross now there was a drink and sometimes we would share the same straw but now she's making an issue about it and would wipe it off and i'd be like okay like i don't even want it anymore or if i was eating something like, oh you want a bite she wasn't taking a bite anymore she was being very like weird weird comments and was like making me feel guilty making me feel like gross for looking at the lady and i was like what like it's not even like that like especially like we watched pee together back there and it wasn't like you weren't making it an issue like why are you making an issue at the time i did not understand now when i'm grown i think there might have been like a little bit of jealousy i think i think and it really just like made me feel some way i'm all for you love who you love who am i to judge who the f am I to judge? Who the f anybody to judge? I got here and like, oh, it's because of the onion and God, you think it's not hurting you. Whoever you love is whoever you love, and I, I have no issue. So don't twist my words when I say that like I felt like they, she was making me feel ashamed. You know, it was just like how she was making me feel. And if I was a lesbian, and then so be it. But I didn't like how she was making me feel like if it was bad or something. The whole drive home was very weird. Anytime we had to stop, now she wasn't asking me like, you want something, anything like that. Like she was just being like completely rude. And I was just trying to like understand like what the f 
I did. So now I'm feeling guilty of what I did. Like she was just telling me, it was so fun partying with you. You're so mature. We should do this often. And she was just like really talking me up. And now I'm just like, what? So it was like very confusing. We went to get some burgers and we we're eating and she kind of just like switched, just like a light bulb, just like switched. And she was telling me like, oh, sorry, it's just the stress. Like, I don't know why I get so upset. So she was just asking for forgiveness. Like, oh, she gets so upset so fast. And like, it was her, not me. And not to like get my feelings hurt. Please just take what I say and like, don't take it to heart. And I'm just like, okay, as I'm like eating and I'm like, oh, okay okay like i'm just like so confused i don't know how to move and now she starts being like overly nice overly nice and this is what a lot of you guys were saying is called grooming and i did not even know i was just like yeah she just has she's just happy and sad like it's bipolar it's probably a mixture of both so she's just telling me that if anyone asks what we did that to not say anything i'm like oh please like don't say anything i don't want to hear anyone say anything because like if they were out with you and they were having fun they probably do the same like please don't say anything please don't say anything and i was like oh yeah and she's like no like for real like please don't say anything like i don't want any problems and she just kept like please make sure you don't say anything like anything at all like i don't want to hear any like you know this and like oh a little cheesiness and she's like please i don't want to hear anything and kept like bringing it up like make sure you don't say anything make sure you don't say anything make sure you don't say anything i was like oh okay yeah when we were out there she was giving me like little knickknacks here little knickknacks there like things at the gas station that were really pricey and she's like no stop yeah, get it get it get it get it that moment i wasn't thinking about it like she was buying me like she bought me she bought me and i fell right into it because i was like okay yeah 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 my heartbreak from losing a second mom and like the drama and being accused and now i was just like having fun and she was my friend and we were like partying it up and all that so she kept telling me like no like i need you to promise me like not ever not ever 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 i need you to promise me and she's like get us what do you need so that like this doesn't get brought up again and I was like, what? She was like, yeah. I was like, nothing. Like, I don't need anything. Like, I won't, I won't say anything. She's like, are you sure? Like, do you need, like, <laughs> do you need new clothes? Do you need new this? Like, you know, just tell me. Get us, like, a, you want a new phone? I should have been like, whoa. Because it was like, she wasn't asking me, like, you want something tight. She was like, big things. Because, like, the third day, you guys, it should have never happened. And so I knew in my heart of heart that, like, something was off. But I wasn't really like, it's all the way bad. But it was. It doesn't matter if it was a girl, it doesn't matter if it was a boy. It doesn't matter. Like, it was not okay. So I tell her, I'm like, no, like, that's fine. Like, that's a lot of money. Like, no, it's fine. She said, are you sure? Like, anything, anything. Because, like, after this, like, I don't, after we leave here, I don't want to talk about it. Even if you talk about it at home, I'm going to be like, ¿Qué? ¿Qué hablas? What are you talking about? And I was like, what? Like, I thought she was really joking. She wasn't. And so she was like, I just don't want to talk about it. I just want to, you know, have that as a memory. And then we can like look back at it when we go traveling there again. But like, I don't want to talk about it. You know, I don't, I don't want this and I don't want that. She probably didn't want to hear, have Mr. P just sitting to us talk in the house or like whatever it might be. And so I was like, okay. And we just finished eating and I just felt like weird. And as soon as we got back in the car, the switch came back on. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Besos a todos. Make sure you guys let me know down below what makeup look for Halloween should I do. I would love to know. I really think this one came out really, really good. I feel like the contacts definitely like brought it together. But I'm loving how the black and gray eyeshadow. I love gray and black eyeshadow. I feel like it's just so freaking pretty. And it's just like so like, oh, baby. I love it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below. Since Halloween, Halloween. I love you guys so freaking much. If you guys enjoy story times, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down below. I love you guys. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. You want your lips too? Mm -hmm. Or just your eyes? You want to you see how it looks? Mm -hmm. I want that. I want that in it. Okay. You don't wear my mouth. Yes, I. Mama, not guilty. No, you're not guilty. Mama, I want eye. I can't put eyelashes on you. No, that.
What? Daddy, Jodini. Oh, the contacts? Yeah. They're only for, um, they're not for babies. Yeah. Uh, say, She's mad because she wants contacts. She can't have the contacts. Jade, you can't have the contacts. I want it. I know you want it. My pet on me. A spider? Yeah. Where do you want the spider? You have your own, you got beautiful lashes. Mommy doesn't have lashes, so I, I'll give her lashes. I want that. You can't have contacts. I want it. No, they don't make them for babies. Mm-hmm. When you get big. Say bye, thanks for watching. Bye, thanks for watching.